Okay, let's break into a police station again. Hi, where does this go? Oh, hi. Oh. Um. Uh, you won't believe this, Mondo. I won't believe this. Why did I run? Well, how can I be this stupid? I'm not even augmented. I just panicked. Those uh, corrupt cops. It wasn't even a real checkpoint. And uh, what kind of cops throw in grenades at you when you run away? Track my hurry, Vic. Oh. Where does this go? Oh, okay. We're in here? What? Hmm. That is a robot. Not, uh, I cannot stealth kill a robot. So happy I invested in that, in the cheap power upgrade for the stealth. Oh, okay, time to watch Jensen walking down tracks again! There we go. Just take all the police's ammunition. This should help me a bit. Oh, what is this? Devastator shotgun? Hello? Devastator is an upgraded version of the Widowmaker Tech 1 by Military Arms. Um, the self-loading shotgun supports a drum magazine that greatly increases the rate of fire as well as shell capacity with a wide variety of area of effect and damage uh, capabilities. Few weapons can compare when it comes to portable room clearage. Requires 12 goods. Specifically upgrades possible. Okay. Our old military industrial friend. wants to be free. You. I knew it, man. I knew you were one of them all along. Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled a freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago, and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Mm. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? <laughs> she wrote the book. Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. Okay. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. <laughs> yeah, um, consider I've met her oh, and she's an AI. But, but right. yeah, I know to- Both I swear to God, he would not believe that. Ordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass? And ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. Okay, that doesn't really narrow it down. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the golem. Yeah, riots. peacekeeping. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Pride. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. 
That's your prediction, huh? Yeah. You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. You told me you were a liability to Sam's debt. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case <laughs> shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's death has to be bigger than any man or woman. Sammy's death is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. <laughs> There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? Yeah. We're playing it safe. There's a police. Neither of them are augmented, so. Uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. I would put on helmets, dudes. Good. It's time to go. Hel no helmets? Oh, okay. You got that piece done yet? We should stay together. So where is this place I'm supposed to go to? I feel like I'm 20. You said you see the place like this. Hey, they're good. Now I just need to get there. Where is this cleaner cleaning place? Oh, it's right here. Okay. That is anyone exhilarating. Yes, exit plans, man. Exit plans. Always be making them. <laughs> we worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. Yeah. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. <laughs> if you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. <laughs> Heat shielding? Do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't miss. Yeah, unfortunately. Right, with the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. <laughs> Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. Hmm. Bones? Time for Sam is that to go international. Lovely. My god, martial law, curfews, people being jailed for no reason. It reminds me of Warsaw 1982. Hmm. Warsaw so didn't have drones. <laughs> now what? Do you think we are safe here? No. You are for now, but you can't risk going back outside. There's a group organizing underground. They're doing everything they can to create a refuge to get people out. These men, they are part of this group? That's right. I know how much it meant to you to stay in Prague, Edward, but things aren't going to get any better. If there was ever a time to leave, this is it. If you wait here, case people will come for you. They'll do everything they can to help. I think I have no choice now. I will wait here. I will cooperate. Thank you. For everything you've done. Uh, Good luck, Edward. Okay. Now to meet Miller in his office. Where do I have to go? Oh, the company's... The store's up there, right? So I... Mm, Right there. Okay, let's go this way. It's the shorter route. 
Actually, wait, can I try to... No, I don't think I'd be able to get on top. Let's get past the turret. <sighs> Thank goodness for an AUG only entrance. That sounds really bad. Adam, it's David. We need to talk in private. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. Oh, okay. Great. Agent? It doesn't make any sense for the Diwali to be working with Ark. They're not terrorists. Yeah, but they're gangsters and they like money. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? <laughs> I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get... Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant... Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Pikus News, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of... Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. Okay. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam, I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. What happened to her? You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Oh. She jumped out the window? No. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Hmm. Like armor? Hmm. I like that. Guess I just got a little spooked, you know? Hmm. I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. <laughs> just take care of yourself. I always do. Oh. Okay, now I'm wondering, should I go back all the way? Will something be locked out if I talk to him, or... Mm. You know what, usually, I'm thinking usually these missions have more than just, like, two or three steps, so... I mean, I'm literally already here, so I'm most likely going to have to leave here to go somewhere else. Let's see if there's anybody, I can, uh, anybody else I can talk to. Smiley, hanging in there? Me? Hmm. What about you? After your little recon mission, you come back to guns in the street. It's pretty bad out there. Any trouble getting around? Oh, nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> well, at least you're positive. Wish I was right now. I've been combing through Dr. Talis Rucker's autopsy report, and apparently the medical examiner found nothing. Can you believe that? Nothing. No poison, no bacteria or toxin of any kind was found in his system. Officially, the cause of death was inconclusive. Inconclusive? I watched him die, and I know for a fact Marchenko did it. They must have found something. 
That's just what I thought, so I got my hands on an earlier draft of the report. And while they were unsure of the cause, at least they knew the effect. An unidentified foreign agent started attacking protein strands, bending them out of shape. And the body's immune system took it from there? Exactly. First swelling in the cell walls, then more kinking and bending in neighboring cells. The effect propagated throughout the body, made its way to the brain, where it was game over. Do not pass go, do not collect 200 credits. And that speculation, as they called it, is not in the final coroner's report. As far as they're concerned, the case is closed. Mm, great for you, right? There's an unknown substance that kills people in minutes. I want to know what it is. And I'm going to find out. They've already blocked my request once, but I spoke to Miller and he told me Manderley would make a few calls and get things moving. Okay, stick with it. Don't worry about that. It'll take more than being stonewalled by state police to stop me. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. Good. Thanks, get back Tom. to work. Talk to you later. Not safe out there. Not safe anywhere. You know, I was starting to think you got rounded up. My god, martial law, I... I heard it's pretty bad out there. Yes, it is. Bad enough. Don't go out if you don't have to. Yeah, well, it's getting bad in here, too. I've been going a little nuts. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure who I can trust anymore. What are you talking about, Chang? You know I've been looking into Janus, right? Well, it turns out Janus knows things about this place. About us. Things they could only know if... It Information that could only come from inside. Oh no! You think Janus has a mole inside the task force? What makes you say that? What exactly have you found? I can't tell you that, Jensen. I'm in charge of cybersecurity here. You really didn't think I wouldn't notice what's been going on? You've been poking into people's computers. You've been doing other things. Well, I mean, that's just what I do. You're obviously a smart guy, Chang. Question is, whose side are you on? Oh, I don't take sides. Chang looks out for Chang. Mm, that can be dangerous. I'm not sure that's good enough. It's good enough for me. And it's a whole lot better than picking the wrong side, Jensen. Look, I'm not accusing you of anything yet. All I'm saying is, I'm a paranoid guy, okay? Right now, more than ever. If someone I work with is... I just need to know these walls are safe. Nowhere is safe. My job, my reason for being here, for doing whatever it is you think I'm doing is to change that. Are you saying I should keep this to myself for now? I'm saying you should do what you think is right. Use the resources you have here to go after the people who deserve it. People who manipulate others, who do everything they can to hurt others. You really think that's me? No, I don't, Jensen. I just... Just be careful, alright? Make sure you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm always careful, Chang. A lot more careful than the last game, that's for sure. Be careful, Jen. You dig deep enough with these guys, you start to find the skeletons. I don't know how much more of this I can watch. Everyone thought you were dead, but me. I'm the only one who reads the case files. I know what you can do. It's like Smiley says, you Peterson just Jensen and you out of there. Family war. It's too bad the place was cleaned out by the time the sweeper team got there. These guys are pros. Serious pros. They didn't leave much behind. God, God, I just want to get these guys. I oh Jensen hit my way out of there, okay. You know what I heard? He got captured, escaped, and sneaked his way out of a heavily guarded facility. That's his idea of a recon mission. That's Jensen. He's a hands-on kind of guy. He's also got a bit of a problem with authority. So what? The hostiles were there, but he got out with the intel we needed. Mission accomplished. Somebody trusts me! supposed to do their jobs if your people keep arresting them? Hi, Miller! You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? You waffled a long time before agreeing to let me go. Because you pulled the location out of your ass, you refused to tell me how you got it. Your one solid lead to the bomb maker got away, and Rucker ended up dead when I sent you to arrest him. You've been nothing but an insubordinate cock-up since Mandalay put you into this unit. Mandalay? It was his signature on the transfer papers. I checked. <sighs> I can't believe we're arguing over this. Not when we need to focus. 
Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Hmm, not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Zardibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. <laughs> All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. Okay. Access code. Smooth operator. I'm almost thinking of going with the peps. Because then I'd be able to knock out several people at once if, if I had to deal with them. Press B. One to four. Okay. Power consumption. Okay, yeah, of course that that requires my power to do it. So okay, that didn't seem to lock me out of anything, so. Yeah, 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 I know. I don't have to do that now, thankful. Thank you, I should say. Back up. What it so middle mouse, F1, silent for F2, typhoon for F3, and peps for F4. Get this get this side mission finally done and dusted, because it's been sitting there the, literally the entire game. Can you hear me? You have to come quick. He's here. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria from the crime scene. Oh no. I'm at home. Pardon the cross from you. Are you still there? Daria! Oh no. Well, it looks like we're going there first! Back to walking the subway. Well, let's walk through this section then. Let's try to stop a murder. Detective. My Interpol friend, it's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> I live here. Killers still out there. More victims have turned up. All of them Ogs, all harvested. Just like Angela Gunn. So it's the same person doing all this. And we still have no idea who that is. I'm not sure where all this is going, but I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Marek Svobodka, the old harvester, is supposed to be dead, yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. And? He's dead. <laughs> so it's someone in the force. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? And it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembers. What about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. Hmm. Hmm. Really hope this guy isn't the. Daria called me. She said she was in trouble. She said he was here. When she got cut off, was she in there? I wouldn't know. I knocked and no one answered. I've been worried about her. So she called you. She feels about cops. <laughs> yeah. Right. Look, 
You're not supposed to be outside tonight. I'll take a look around the building. You see if you can find a way inside. I probably can. Hopefully we're not too late. Just try not to get caught, eh? I won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of important right now. Well, door's locked. Take a look around. You're out of touch. You're out. I'm sorry, that's I have that song stuck in my head. It's been appearing in a whole bunch of memes recently. Initiated. Access granted. Yeah. Ah. No, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, and that's that's blood. Oh no. New gloves pair. Floor? Floor detergent? Kitchen detergent? More detergent. Wait, she was this cat apartment I, I got I went into before and didn't know. Okay, I'm sorry I broke into your house earlier. That probably scared her out a bit. There's a bear rug in in Daria Musk's apartment. I why is this a piece of evidence? And she was pointing, and she had a telescope pointing towards my apartment. That's not weird at all. Daria, I can help you. Daria, you need to see me right away. Listen to me. I, I know some part of you doesn't want this. Some part of you is scared and looking for a way out. Keep in mind that the surgery will be very delicate. Your brain is still trying to process the implanted signals. All I ask is that you hear me out. I understand if you have doubts about my intention, but right now I, I'm your best and only chance. Hai Young has sent me up at a pharmacy in the, in the Devani district. I'm well equipped uh, for what needs to be done. Please come see me before you do anything, before anyone else gets hurt first ah uh, okay really did like cats hello whiskers hi he's coming here he comes door knocking not knocking not knocking hi please not me not me not me not me who's there not me six nine eight eight four three not me who's there Whose nose? Zipper nose. Nose me not, not me. What's your name, neighbor? Miss. Miss. Miss Botka? Heidi. Me, Heidi. Me. Hide me. What was that? What does what did any of that even mean? Cat color with the name Starlight on it. Well, I wonder if textbook. Uh, but managing about managing psychological dis disorders written by Doctor Nicholas Sipra. Helping them go to heaven. Police rumors to that copycat killer make them human. Oh god, was she... Did she develop, like, a split personality or something? I try to keep them alive for as long as... Oh. Okay. Oh no. Looks like... Belong to Daria... Uh... Iska. Hypodermic needles? Stack of hypodermic needles? She was. She was the killer. Oh my god. Wait, where am I supposed to even go now? Oh, what does the mission say? Sounds sounds like I haven't heard the last of Angela Gunn's killer. Whoever heard her cell out there and is terrorizing Prague. Optional. Travel to Devani Kurz. An email on Darius' computer raises questions about some medical procedure she underwent. Whatever happened uh, to her. A uh, doctor seems eager to cover it up. If I want to learn anything there is to know about Daria, I should 
seek this guy out. Oh, okay. I mean, while I'm here, might as well talk to Seraph. Hey, Seraph! I'm back! Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vid call number? I looked into facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. Of course. And, and I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Are you suggesting all my augs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the augs we ever installed had registry codes. And they're not hard to trace. I know my augs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years? Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Ah, uh, okay. Son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orlov? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. Uh, Except for the augs which Orloff designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. Okay, um, please continue. This is... What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. Please, I am very I stupid. The deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. Hmm. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Sarah. Oh, okay, that's not creepy at all. 